what I think is really important is uh, showing off who you are as an artist, not trying to think, oh, I've got to impress someone. I've got to, you know, show all the best bits, all the small things that you do on the side, like at home, if you're doing drawings or you're doing um, uh, personal illustrations or personal projects, I always say, put that in. It's always good to show who you are. What I think my portfolio should represent or what it did represent was my problem solving. I think it's really important to show your ideas because that's where if you've got a great piece of design, it's going to come from good ideas and where that comes from. So in my portfolio, I did lots of problem solving about how it's going to be produced, the way that I'm going to work. And that led to my final idea. So I think it's really important to show how each individual person problem solves with their own design. When making a portfolio, they do ask for it to be digital. So I think it's always best to get in the habit of taking pictures of your work, scanning it in. Um, when taking a picture, it doesn't have to be on the fancy Canon camera. It can be in a little dinky one. That's what I did. Um, but it's always good to start getting into the motion of documenting your work because that's what we do anyway. Also, being able to just show all your work, so not just the work you did as coursework, but also your favorite kind of work that you're doing at home in your room, just kind of work that you want to do more of or you want to learn more about, show all of that and they want to see what kind of artist you are. It's really important to annotate your work so that you can communicate very um, clearly to whoever's reading your work. So not just saying, this is the sort of materials I use so it can have this impact or this impact, but also talk about what are you trying to convey in your work. So whatever topic you're going about or what are you trying to convey, what art you're trying to convey to the viewer, that's really important. My top tip for making a portfolio is not to stress about how perfect it looks. I know when I was making my portfolio, I was making sure that, oh, it's the best po photo and it's the best picture I've done. I kind of wish that I was a bit more messy about it, but also just showing who I was as an artist. Not being perfect is a good thing to show in your portfolio because it kind of just shows this is me, this is my mistakes, but this is also what I use to go further. I showed my design process. It was really important to show the tutors what I had going through my work. I'd start off with really rough ideas and then I'd show my process and my like, visual journey up until the final piece that I included. And I had that in sort of three miniature versions. So I had a variety of work. I had photography in it. I had digital work in it. I had drawings in it. Um, I had a couple of paintings in it as well. Um, so for example, I did a CD album cover and I included some mock-ups of what it would look like as an actual CD. And then I had, at the start, I had the initial drawings. So I drew a bit and then I researched. I had developed work. I had it mocked up into an actual album cover. And then I bought a little CD cover and I actually put my artwork in it. And then I used that to show people. Top tip to portfolio would be to have a narrative in your work. So it's kind of like storytelling about yourself. You show your visual journey, um, have a nice pace to your portfolio so it doesn't just have a load of set images and it's really boring to look at, have different projects in different places so it all works and flows nicely. So when they're looking at it, it's going to be interesting.